so hello guys good morning today is the 22nd of february and i've been having contraction for two days now but it's been fluctuating and today monday it's getting serious like every five minutes or so i'm getting really strong contractions i can't even bear it so my husband has gone to steam the car to come and pick us up Oof. i'm so 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 running out of breath so we are going to the hospital right now everything is being packed i have to get my baby today i have to get my baby today my husband is so excited first of all and even though i'm in pain i'm too excited so we must have the baby today i just want to update you guys i'll try to do a vlog i will really try my husband is not the phone type he's not the social media type so he's so against this but um, i'm just gonna try if i can do all the labor and delivery story i'm going to do it hopefully but let's see how it goes and see you guys when we are on our way so guys we got to the hospital at nine o'clock in the morning and i was only one percent dilated oh my god i was just one percent dilated so i i asked the doctor to induce me give me a first labor because i was so tired i wanted to have my baby like i said um i was so tired and and that was already my due date and i was in pains yeah so but then i'll advise you eh? you see first level avoid it hey <laughs> avoid it i was not informed hey <laughs> guys i was not informed don't try it so guys so um to monitor me for about they actually minutes. accepted to induce me to come and, examine and then and we started the process to decide what to do but then i had to lay down for about 45 minutes so i could be monitored and then boom So guys, I was they actually put a balloon inside of me, and this balloon was gonna help me go to four four percent dilated. So if the balloon can go out of my, can, should I say, out of me, pussy or, okay, you get it, yeah. So if you can go out, if I can take it out, then it means I'm already four percent dilated. So and it was gonna take about it takes about many hours for some people but for me it, it took almost like 30 minutes or 45 minutes and it was out 
but it was so painful. Jesus. I'm five centimeter, five centimeter dilated. So, to advise of. And then the next, after it was out, I was four percent gone. So the next, the the, the put the. God, I don't really know how to call all of these things, so I needed to google all of these things. Is it the inducing drip or what? I don't know, but that drip is painful. That was what that was the main thing. I mean, the, the main thing the drip, the, the first level drip. I don't know, someone just leave me the, the name on the comment section. I'm just trying to drop this video today. I don't want today to, to pass me by. And these kids are not helping me at all. So, however we put it, we just go. We just flow. <laughs> Guys, I almost ran mad. I was going crazy. I was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was crazy. I think I was crazy at one point in time. Immediately they put that drip in, I was not able to to hold for um, for up to 30 minutes i was already on on the floor scattering my body and crying and you know so bam they had to take me to the labor room so that they could give me epidural so guys boom we went to the labor room <laughs> But the process of getting the epidural, almost, I almost collapsed. They were trying to get my spine. Is it spine? So the, in fact, I was crying. I felt pa the pains of my life. But I finally got it, and then all the pain just stopped. Like I was not feeling any level pains until when I started pushing. Like, when I was pushing, I was just feeling really little pains. Not like before, 
so guys that is how i pushed i went to the hospital at nine o'clock 22nd of february nine o'clock in the morning and i gave birth on the 23rd of february at 1 49 after midnight so it was already 23rd so that was a whole long process i, I suffered the whole day so thank you guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe like share our babies here yeah. Mm-hmm.